hey guys welcome to my channel today we have a tutorial video so um, this video is gonna be sort of of a speed up uh, it will have speed up parts so um, these are the tools that we're gonna need so we uh, I'm gonna be using the tumbo mono liquid glue the aqua the blue bottle I love this glue we're also gonna be using scissors or uh, yeah scissors will be the best as well as a blade and a scoring tool we're also gonna need a mat for or cutting with the blade a ruler some type of um, ruler and then of course or scoreboard and trimmer as well I'm going to be working with the collection from Haiti swap it is a 24 sheet paper pack double sided patterns for this project we're going to be using this three different um, papers and um, where we're going to be doing it's a as you can see on the title it is a mini album and we're only going to be using two sheets to do or mini album or the inside of the mini album. And then we're also going to be using this one, which is uh, the one that I'm going to be using to cover my shoe board. So we're going to use two, we're going to choose, sorry, two shoe boards that measures four and one fourth by six and one fourth. As you can see, this is no not fancy scrapbooking or crafting, a special uh, uh, chipboard. It is just a um, recycle cereal box. I cut the pieces out, and yeah. So we're gonna set those to the side as well as our uh, page that we're going to. Um, cover the front of or with and then we're gonna focus on this two these two are double sided as I said and this is one and this is the other side of them and then what we're gonna do or we want to do is this part right here we're gonna cut it out two pattern double-sided pattern papers and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna score we're gonna score our first sheet of paper to four inches all the way down we're gonna score again at eight inches down and then we're gonna flip or, or turn around or turn or page and we're gonna score at six inches and what we want to do now is we're gonna um, crease our paper really good on this side. And then as you can see, we have a little bit of extra here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set that to the side and then... cutting board now to the side and we're gonna get our uh, mat or roller and our scissors and this is what we're gonna do we're gonna get we're gonna cut the axis so we have a six by six sorry if you can see my head right there maybe you maybe not so we're gonna get 
or blade. Maybe a secto knife will work as well. I just have this ruler. I mean the, the ruler and the, this pink blade that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now let's oh okay so now we're going to crease the side so let's fold one side up and crease it and then let's fold the other one as well and crease it and then what we're going to do we're going to cut all the way into our second line from, so we're going to get our 6 by 6 side right we're going to open it up and then we're going to cut through the middle line that we made. And then we're going to stop at right here on our last line. You're gonna fold one side and this is gonna turn into a little pocket um, page and then these are gonna be flaps to put pictures or decorate and then on this side which is gonna be uh, on this another uh, flap open and then here in the middle this is where our um, cover is gonna go so this is gonna go like this So let's do the other page. to complete our mini album what we're gonna do okay so we're gonna make sure uh, that it's how we wanted it so 
uh, the flaps has to be like this. So you're going to open this one up like this. And here in the middle, it's going to go or chipboard, which is this one or cover. It's going to be glue there, right there, right? So it's going to make a flap here. And then here we're going to have a pocket. And then we are going to... Um, flip it and then this one is going to have another flap right and then this side oh, just put this one. so we're going to put it like this and then or second book has to be the same so here are three different ones then there's a pocket here and then there's a flap again here and then you're gonna close it, and here it's gonna go or next uh, flap, and that is going to be or mini album right there, right? So uh, let's put those aside. So what we're gonna do here to uh, put together or to um, page, we're going to put, and then we're also gonna use this to make another insert. So we're gonna do glue all around the pages, but not on the top. So because we are actually going to make it into a tag pouch or pocket where we're going to put glue all around it and we're going to do this like so and we're going to kind of press it with our scoreboard or scoreboard or it's going to be like this and then here on the top where we have it we're gonna actually we're gonna grab a circle punch right here so i'm using this one inch but if you don't have a circle punch what you can do is just easily grab something that is round maybe like a bottle cap or um like at the top of your glue trace it with a pencil and then just cut it and you can erase the lines and that's it but since i have the the um the circle punch is way easier so we're going to try to put two pages here oh, okay so And then get it right here. So that's gonna be our tag, okay? So meanwhile, this sets up and the glue is all good and ready to go. We are going to um, we're going to put this aside, okay? And now we're gonna work on to or um chipboard pieces we're gonna grab the page of or the the design that you want so i'm getting this one with the hearts so i think it goes super well because now um this is going to be a project that i'm going to send to uh to a in happy mail so for valentine's day so yes so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip
now we have our mini album done and this is how it looks so because if it's so thin and I wanted it to work with some just um, flat back or flat um, embellishments what I'm going to do now is now that it's all done let me move trash to the side now that it's all done I want to do so I want to grab a piece of the same paper pattern and I'm actually going to do some straight cutting with this one so let's do let's see so let's get a piece of two let's do one and one fourth by six and one fourth which is her height of our mini album. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually going to bend this. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to bend this out like so let's move this out of the way. Um so what I wanna do is I'm going to try to bend it out like this. See how it's kind of curvy? So we want to do We don't want to fold it all the way. We want to curve it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some <laughs> glue to this part right here. That's me. So we're gonna add glue here and then glue on the back. Right here. And we are going to attach our mini tiny little spine here. Gotta make sure that it stays curvy alright there you go so now let's turn it around give it some crease we don't want to make it curvy here we don't want to fold it up all the way just a little bit, a little bit. See? Alright, so this is the mini album that you just created. You have to let it sit for a little bit so it has actually, um, it can actually uh, glue or spine. And yeah. So all it's all up to you to decorate it. You have um, die cuts from this collection. I do not have any die cuts or anything like that, but I will be uh, incorporating some of my Valentine's Day um, Valentine's Day uh, die cuts that I have here. Uh, I think this collection goes really well with the colors, so I may be uh, working with this so fancy by Simple Stories bits and pieces pack as well as other embellishments or die cuts that I have on this draw on this uh, acrylic um, draw so thank you so much for watching you guys please give it a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to comment down below if you have an idea for me to create for you or any ideas on videos that you would like to see let me know down below and uh, once you hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit that bell button so you can um, get notifications every time that I upload a video. So thank you and 
See you in the next one.